Have you ever just kind of went to the mall, like looking for something, and then you end up looking for shoes? And you tell yourself, you know, I, I want a shoe that I can kind of just wear, rock it casually, kind of dress it up, whatever the case is, just kick it around. Nothing major, right? So that's kind of what happened with this pair here. What is good, everybody? This is your boy DB Case. We're back with another video, man. If you guys are new here to the channel, and you like what you see, smash that like button, hit that notification bell, subscribe to the channel if you do like what you see. If not, I appreciate you coming through anyway. So, a little bit about the channel. I do like to do sneaker reviews, uh, fear guy reviews occasionally, and some how to styles, all right? How to style has kind of been like my focus lately. So, you guys see I picked up the Nike Challenger OG. Now, we're going to review that pair, and then I'll just do it on foot for it. So, of course, you just get a red and white standard Nike sportswear box. The shoe is the Nike Challenger OG. Retails only 90 bucks, man. Add a little bit of a discount on there, and there was like $80 after tax. Can't beat it. And I did get these in a size seven and a half. Women's nine, and I'm, I'm going to talk about the sizing because that's very important. On a shoe like this, it's definitely a important thing to talk about. So, Nike Challenger OG, man. This screams classic. I really just wanted a classic Nike shoe. I mean, I have the blazer, but blazers aren't the most comfortable. And I just went in the mall, went to a foot action, just shopping with the missus. And these just kind of caught my eye. They have these, they come in different colors. There's another one that I want, but I'm waiting to see how much I like these after I rock these for a day. But it's just super, like, just real classic, man. It's just clean. My style, I feel like my style is sort of changing a little bit. There's things I want to try new. And this is something I kind of been wanting to try. Just an all black and white shoe. Nothing special. Materials, you have a mixture of leather, which the leather is on the Nike swoosh. It's nothing good at all. <laughs> uh, the side paneling is nylon. You guys hear that? You got nylons on the side. Uh, your toe, you do have a mesh textile mesh toe box and wrapping the toe you do have an, a suede and for 90 bucks the suede is actually okay like it's it's not it's not bad i mean it's it's 90 bucks anyway so that same material that you do have on the toe box you do have it on the whole tongue as well giving it a very comfortable feel on top of the foot and one of my favorite things about this shoe is how the shoe is black and white the tongue tag is that original nike kind of branding black white with the orange swoosh gotta love it and you do have white laces that contrast the sneaker very very well now the tongue it's the exposed foam but it's not like the normal it's just very very thin a very thin exposed tongue there we go there we go all right so and the heel of the shoe you have more of that suede as well and you have the black and white nike in the back midsole you just got like a regular uh man i guess a phone regular phone midsole it's very very thin very low to the ground the insoles of the shoe are a regular ortholite insole all right and the outsole you have the classic waffle bottom i don't own a waffle shoe at all this is my first one and i just been wanting to really really try it so i do want to read the product description because like i said i kind of just Went to the mall and I kind of wanted to look for a casual kick around shoe, but at the same time, something very trendy and very stylish. Um, so that's pretty much how I stumbled across these. So I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but the Nike Challenger OG, so nearly a one-to-one -one remake of the OG running shoe that offered runners a distinct look back in the 70s. So it's got soft suede, shimmering fabric, and a breathable mesh, okay? Plus pattern around the ankle, combines it with his sleek springy midsole. The midsole is springy. Uh, that makes it a comfy trendsetter, uh, the diamond from underground. Okay, so yeah, that's what it is. It's a 70s runner. This is as close as they could get, I guess, to the original. Let's talk about the sizing. Very, very important. And this is kind of, I'm still kind of playing with the sizing. Well, I'm, I plan on wearing these ASAP. Now, as far as the size, I went true, no, I went down half a size. And the reason I did that is because I tried on an eight, which is my true size. Um, and my wife was with me, so she can attest to this. I tried on the eight, fit great in the toe. Everything was good. I was like, man, these, I like the way these feel perfect. Got a little room. 
but I started to walk and this whole back half of the shoe, like the midfoot, and you guys, if you look at it real close, you can kind of see how much wider, you can see how much wider it is than the forefoot and the toe of the shoe. That's that's what did it for me. You see, you see that? Super, super flexible. So I have, for the guys that, you know, for the people that do watch me, y'all know I have a very, very narrow foot. So I'm a true size eight. Sometimes I can go down. So that's the reason why I went down to a seven and a half because the, the midfoot and the heel was sliding, uh, slipping off. Like my wife was like, she was like, are those too big for you? I was like, man, I guess. I was like, do I really gotta go down to the seven and a half? And they actually had it in store. So with the sizing real quick, now, just because I went down half a size, this is what I highly, highly recommend. I recommend since these are in stores, Foot Action, Foot Locker Champs everywhere, they're sitting, there's no hype behind them. I recommend that you guys go inside of a store, try these on, try, try going down half a size and try a true size. If you're a wide footer, you're definitely 100% gonna go true to size and maybe even up half a size because of the toe. But the shoe is so flexible guys that you probably won't have to do that. But I just had to throw that in there. So down half a size for myself and the narrow footers, um, true to size for everybody else is my recommendation. Nice snug fit in the toe, but not too snug. We'll see how they are after I rock them. I just had a feeling that if I bought an eight and they felt loose, I just knew if I bought that eight, um, over time, this shoe is just gonna be way too loose and I didn't want that to be the case. I think these look really, really good, man, with jeans. I think these look good with uh, skinny jeans. Um, I didn't try baggy pants with it because I just didn't think it'd be the move. But I put on some uh, slim or skinny uh, Reputation Studios denim and a pair of all black American Eagle jeans and I kind of rolled the cuff. So let me know what you guys think about that look. Kind of like that preppy type of look. But I just really think that you can do a lot with this shoe. And it looks dope with shorts as well. High cut Nike socks. You're set, all right? My only uh, complaint about this shoe, really, it does have an all white sock liner. So if you do cop these, I recommend that you wear white socks, which is the reason why I have on white socks. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the Nike Waffle One. Is this just too outdated for you? Do you not like the shoe? I like these a lot. And fun fact, I do not like the Nike Cortez for me. I like it for other people. I've tried it on many times. They had a Cortez in this same color blocking. I just can't do the Nike Cortez. It's something about that shoe that I don't like. I'm firm on that too. But these are it, man. This is, this is good. And I'm gonna hold myself to it. Sometimes I do mess up and say I'm gonna do a styling video for whatever shoe or Whatever hat, I didn't forget y'all. I just gotta get to it. Time, man, it's so hard to squeeze all these videos in. This sneaker does deserve some style inspiration for you guys. The way that DB Kicks would like to style it because it's not a shoe that anybody or everybody is checking for. So uh, let me know if you guys picked up a pair of these. Let me know what you guys think about these down in the comment section below. And again, thank you guys for watching, man. Greatly appreciate it. Working grinding every single day, 10K. 10k on the way man let's let's get your boy there and also i do have a giveaway coming up pretty soon but there's a twist to the giveaway so stay tuned for that and your boy db kicks is out